<laughs> just like the rest of y'all, I was type excited about the Rick and Morty meal at Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? So I started like really dissecting through it. But before I get to it, let's talk about a particular Wendy's. Was like, nah, B. My take your order, please. I just wanted, do you guys have the new Rick and Morty meal? Excuse me? The new Rick and Morty meal? Only meal? It's Rick and Morty for Wendy's. No. All right, thanks. How can I get this? Yeah, I'd like to order the Rick and Morty meal. I am, um, wait, the what? The Rick and Morty meal. You you have the drinks, right? The portal lime, lemon lime, and the... Uh, the so punch. our machine is just being weird today and we actually have no drinks right now on my end so oh all right then <laughs> Super oh yeah toes out so being the fact that i had an uber eats the rick and morty wendy's mill and i really got to go to the barber shop over here so i'm gonna just kill two birds with one stone i jumped on uber right i saw the fact that they did have the rick and morty mill on the uber eats app no plug for uber whatsoever y'all this is just the only way that i can get it so went ahead i clicked on that john and it gave me two basic options the hot honey chicken that they already have and then <laughs> the um, the bourbon bacon sandwich. Clicked on that joint, took it to the next level, made sure that, you know, I put all the toppings that I wanted on there, whatever, got the large fries as that option. It's required, so you gotta click on it. Kept going, got the drink. Didn't know exactly which drink to get. Ended up going with the pineapple mango option and um, went ahead and placed my order for the Rick and Morty meal at Wendy's. But now I gotta get a haircut, y'all. So you already know what time it is. And I have them delivering my mail here. So I'm gonna just do the review at the barbershop. Appreciate you, good brother. Right, bro. My man. You got it? Yes, sir. Appreciate it, family. All right, uh, y'all know the vibes, man. For whatever reason, when I went to the first Wendy's, they wasn't messing with me. They was like, nah, money, we don't even know what you're talking about. So I had to use the Uber Eats app in order to get this Rick and Morty meal. All right, guys, so basically, if you use the Uber Eats app to order the Rick and Morty meal, options you will be entered into a drawing to win some of the rick and morty merchandise not all of you guys are going to win i just want to know because it's not branded because it's not a special meal how much i save by going directly to wendy's myself they didn't brand nothing rick and morty my drink look regular it look like a regular regular wendy's drink wendy's let me find out v y'all 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 went lazy with it nothing is branded rick and morty v at least with mcdonald's when they had the Szechuan sauce, Ooh. it was Rick and Morty on the Szechuan sauce. It was it was branded on there. I, I, I came already, son. I, I came already, son. I came already, son. You know what I'm saying? Like the only thing Rick and Morty shouldn't be my shirt, family. Ladies and gents, this video is gonna go back and forth between Uber Eats version versus me just going to a Wendy's doing it myself. You're gonna save a few dollars. Let's keep it a bean because I'm looking at this right now. I spent $16.08 for the same exact thing that I got with Uber. And you see the total on that joint came to $19. I threw the driver another $6 for a little tippy piece. That's about $25, well anyway, 16 bucks, y'all. Now, we have the onions. It looks like we have a, a different kind of sauce. It doesn't look so much like mayo. It might, might be a nice little spicy sauce on a toasted bun. But then you have the hot honey. You see the hot honey sticky right there, right? Over the bacon. You see double beef patties, and then they're processed cheese, right? Bacon doesn't travel well through Uber Eats, dog. It's not crisp whatsoever. The onion, the fried onion rings are crispier than the bacon in the actual burger itself. Y'all said hot honey? I taste the sweetest of the honey. I'm getting no heat, let's not stop. This is not hot honey, it's just honey. It's just sweet honey up over your beef game. And the beef game is proper. It's right. It's decent. That little bit of cheese is holding you down. It's a thick bite, right? And a, a nice little flavor, but nothing about hot honey screams off of your hot honey burger. So we're going to call it hot honey, and it's not going to be hot honey. I'm going to mess around. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this joint a three. Mmm. This one smell different. Probably because it didn't come from Uber Eats. Mmm, look at you. Look at you. You all over the place. You messy, baby. Talk to me. Mmm. Mm. Oh! That's spicy. What I had from Uber Eats, you could look at that again. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. peace. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me. Peace. Like you have no options. I ain't take your options. Now nah, I'm not the problem. Mmm. 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 That's really good. This one is really cheesy. You're getting the crisp from the onions. You're getting the sweetness from the hot honey. A slight spice, but definitely more of a kick than what was delivered to me through Uber Eats. And this one definitely looks thicker at the end of the day. I mean, this right here is great flavor through and through. Soft bun action. Meaty family. All right. With a, a great bite, like I can actually give this burger a five all day and a plate. It is worth it. It is truly worth it. Let's see these fries, though. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. I, I see a little green in there. That, that must be for the Rick and Morty. What? Was that what that was? Is that what that was? Here? My fries look a little green. Did they try to spray something on there real quick? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just how the potato came out. Maybe maybe that potato ate all the way right. I, I, I don't know. I, I thought the green was from Rick and Morty for a second. Maybe just something wrong with my fries, but I'm going to hit them. I'm going to get Okay. Salty and cold. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call it what it is. Wendy's, this idea was stupid. And here's why it's stupid. When it comes to fast food, and, and man, you know this, dog. Yeah. Fast food has upwards five minutes from the time you get it from the window for it to still be good. Wait. You can't bring fast food home without mm -hmm. reheating it, and you damn sure can't order it and Ooh, have green. it brought from 20 minutes away and think it's still gonna be good, right? Fries are bold and cold, burger is over here basic. These fries, hot, fresh, me on the pull-up box, wild, greasy. This is what I like to see from my fast food establishments. I'm not worried about these fries being bold and cold like I receive ordering through Uber Eat. Mm. Wendy's! Look, y'all could did Rick and Morty on your own. Mmm, you don't slap. These joints right here are bumping. Bumpy knuckles. Potato game, fresh. I mean, it is still greasy. I taste plenty of grease, so I'm getting a lot of salt. But they're hot. This is what the people want their fries to be. Hot. We don't want to wait 20 to 30 minutes coming from Uber Eats for cold fries that we got to reheat in the microwave and or oven. That's just stupid. Hot. This right here is pineapple mango. You ever had the pineapple mango lemonade? Nah. No? Rub it. Pineapple mango. Light hint of that pineapple mango flavoring, extremely tart. And get into business, this is still half decent. This is definitely better than the french fries and the burger put together. Now, unfortunately, as you guys saw, when I went inside of this Wendy's, I had to go to the machine. They did have the Rick and Morty symbol on the machine to click, and it said unavailable. Just like at the last location, she was like, something's wrong with our machine. So apparently, the Rick and Morty drink was too much for Wendy's to handle. So they're not really 100% in every location doing this promotion. If you can't even serve up one branded item, Wendy's, <laughs> y'all should have been ready for this release, and you weren't. McDonald's with the Szechuan sauce, they were ready. They knew what they were gonna do. They put it out to the world. We got busy until it was sold out. They knew what they were doing. Wendy's, y'all got stuff to work on. There's a few bucks more, but that's because Uber Eats is trying to capitalize, and I get it. I get it. This is business at the end of the day. If people want to go through Uber Eats to order something that they may or may not get when it actually gets to you, go for it. Knock yourself out. I'm going to tell you right now, these one of these locations over here in Connecticut, 
Uh-uh. Don't ask for Rick and Morty, nothing. I didn't even need to do this. I already got merch. I had merch before Wendy's even wanted to do it with Uber Eats. I had the merch. You know what I mean? Bung bung. But again, Wendy's is saying if you order through Uber Eats, you have a chance at winning some Rick and Morty merch. Good luck to you. And good luck trying to get the Rick and Morty drink. Because it's unavailable around here, apparently. Yeah. <laughs>